Okay. Did you know this is really neat? ASU's Polytechnic campus grows rare and exclusive varieties of dates. Yeah, we're talking about the wrinkly fruit. Dates are known to be very nutritious, actually. They're high in fiber. They're also a popular low calorie substitute in desserts and appetizers. And now a Scottsdale based date company is partnering with ASU to harvest these rare dates to sell them to the public. How neat is yeah, that? Yeah, I know. So Gibby is at the ASU Polytechnic Date Grove in Mesa. I know there's a lot of date trees out there to tell us all about it. You Do you like dates, Gibby? You know what? It is one of those acquired tastes. Growing up in Yuma, we used to try them all the time. And of course, driving from Yuma, there's Dateland, of course, and you would stop, get gas, and get a date shake. And they have several different uh, dates that they have out here. We're going to talk about both of those. And Sphinx Date is out here with ASU. This has got to be a treat because, one, I think a lot of us here in Arizona know, know about the Med Jewel dates. Right. But we're talking, you are growing something special out here. Yeah, so ASU here has a grove, a germplasm collection to keep all of the varieties growing. They have about 40 now growing, real rare varieties, a lot of soft dates, different kinds than you see grown commercially in the Yuma area and in the large commercial groves. So some really special flavors, some soft dates, some different unique things that you're not going to see growing um, or available commercially really anywhere. So. Well, and it, it, there is this nice desert oasis. Once you get to the poly, uh, to Polytechnic East out here at ASU, how did this partnership come about? So uh, many years ago when I started getting involved with Sphinx, I reached out to Deb to really help learn about dates date growing, growing, date harvesting, date varieties. She's the expert here and um, they do take all volunteers. So I came out, volunteered on some harvests, on some pollinating, on some different tasks. And uh, we got involved in, and found that I could help out here with ASU to help process some of the dates, these special dates. And here we are. So. <laughs> and Deborah, okay, now here's the deal. Growing up, I've seen them. They, they've been a lot bigger, a lot browner. And then these are a little different. Talk to me about these here. These are barhi dates, and this is just the size they are. These are actually pretty big for barhi, and they're really good in the unripe stage. Uh, in the yellow, they're crisp like an apple, crisp and sweet. And then the half and half ones right there, that's half ripe and half uh, unripe, half in the kalal stage. So that's stage. what this would be. So that if I were true. to take one side here, Chris, you see that? Okay, there's a pit. Okay. My, watch what do you my think? tooth. Is that what you're telling yeah. me? <laughs> I was telling you that my dad used to do this thing where he take the pits out, put them in a glass of milk, yeah. and in the glass of milk, and kind of mush them up and eat them that way. Well, that, then he had like a date shake. There you go. Kind of variety of date shake. Yeah. But we have many different varieties of soft dates, crunchy dates, and they're also, uh, they ripen throughout the season, all the way from the end of September, usually we have them, all the way until February the next year. The kasab and the halali are the last to ripen the next year. What does this do for the, for the students who get to come out here as well and get to learn all about this? They get to work on a farm <laughs> and see what all goes on in a farm and all the hard work that you have to put in to grow your food. So they see our food growing right there and we always cut some off for them to have them taste them because we get students from all over the world and you know people from Minnesota or uh, Canada have never seen a date or a working date ranch uh, like this one. Well, I have to tell you that they both have a unique flavor. The the ones that are not ripe, that has a not, its flavor in its own, like you mentioned, kind of like an apple, a crunchy taste to it. And then the sweeter side of it, both amazing, by the way. I think I'm taking that whole uh, thing with me on the way back. Guys, and they're good for you. And they're good for you. Not only is it good for education, not only is it good to get these, and they're being sold. Where can they find them? We do have the Kalal Barhi at uh, Sphinx State Company right now. We'll have the rest when they start ripening towards end of September. So you can go to SphinxStateRanch.com or visit us just north of Thomas All on right. Scottsdale Road. I got I to gotta take one more. I'm sorry about that. I am taking one, not only the ripe one. Guys, these are amazing, by the way. The, the ripe side tastes a lot different than the other side, mm. but be careful with the pit. You don't want to chip a tooth, that's no, for sure. you don't sure. want to do that. Mm. I hear date shakes are very popular. I can see Gibby now, the new spokesperson. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs>